Okay, so how do you use the iPhone or iPad with your Chromecast enabled TV? First of all, it doesn't matter if you have a Chromecast first generation or a second generation. This is a second generation, but I can tell you the second generation is a little bit faster, it buffers faster, and you're able to connect to a five uh, gigahertz network. And it's only $10 more than the uh, first generation, so I definitely recommend getting the second generation if you guys don't have that yet. Now the iPhone and the Chromecast, let's get one thing straight first of all. You cannot screen mirror your iPhone or iPad to your Chromecast. In other words, everything that I have on my phone right now, I cannot show this on my TV. I cannot screen mirror it. However, on Androids, you're, you are able to screen mirror, screen mirror everything on your phone, on your Android phone to your uh, TV. And what's great about screen mirroring, first of all, is you know, you're able to go and look at all your photos, your videos. You can play games on the big TV. But with the iOS device, the only thing you can do is cast certain apps. So for example, you do have some popular apps, and the thing is Chromecast is com coming out with more apps that are going to be compatible uh, with Chromecast. But right now you have like Hulu, you have uh, Vivo, you have YouTube, Netflix, Pandora. And let me show you that. So you cannot mirror, but you can cast. So for example, Let's go to YouTube here. Let me go to YouTube. And you want to go to watch a video. And what you do, you need to cl click on the cast icon, which is this right here. So let me go ahead and click on that. And once I click on this, my bottom menu will pop up and you can see my Chromecast here. I have another one up here is my smart TV. If it basically, if, uh, if the casting button, if the casting finds any kind of device that's compatible, you're going to have this icon up here. So I have two things compatible, but I'm going to click on my Chromecast here. And then I'm just going to click on a video. I'm going to click on any video. I'll click on this video right here. I'm going to click on play. And let me try to focus in a little bit here. And let me click on another video here. Let me, let me go to this video here. And the great thing is now from here, now this is not screen mirror. You see, Whatever I'm playing on my uh, on my my phone is going to my TV, but it's not an exact duplicate. The actual video is coming to my TV here. Now this is great with the Chromecast, though. I'm able to raise the volume up and down on my phone, and it goes directly to my HD TV. I can pause here. I can fast forward. I can rewind. And also, which is great, is I can go ahead and pretty much just get out of my phone. And I can go into different apps. I can check my email. I can make a phone call. I can send text messages. And if I click the volume up or down button, now it's not going to lower my uh, YouTube volume up or down right now. I have to actually go back into the actual app. So let me go back into the app. And now I can lower the volume down. Now for, to disconnect from the, uh, the casting here, what you do is simply, same thing again. Go ahead and click on that casting button. And then this menu will pop up. I'm going to click on Disconnect. And I'll show you some other apps that it works with. Uh, Pandora, okay? It says great. Pandora basically for music. Um, the great thing about this here is, okay, so I have it uh, on right now. It's coming from my phone, the volume, and I forgot to cast it, so I need to click on this casting button right here. And then I'm going to click on Chromecast right here to connect it. And now it's coming directly to my TV. Now, if you have like a sound system on your TV, then this is great. You know, this way you don't have to go out and buy a uh, like a, a sound bar with a um, Bluetooth or anything like that. You can uh, put your music directly to the Chromecast into your, your sound system on your TV. So let me go ahead and pause it here. Now I'm going to disconnect here. Same thing again. Click on that casting icon and go to disconnect. Another great thing is too, guys, is you can... Actually, it's on my phone now. Another great thing is you can bring your Chromecast to like a friend's house. If you're having a party or something like that, you can hook it up directly into the t your TV. They have like a sound system. And then you can, you know, you can relay music from there onto there. Or you can watch movies as well. It's very easy to do as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, network as your phone and the actual uh, the Chromecast device. So let's go ahead and look at another app here. Uh, let's just... Let's just take a look at Netflix here, okay? So here's Netflix here. And don't forget, I need to click on the cast button here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then this will pop up here. I'm gonna click on Chrome, Chromecast. And then let's watch any movie here. I don't know, let's watch a cartoon, I guess. 
click on that and we'll watch the uh, I guess the first episode I click on play here you can see that it's uh, casting the, the Chromecast and you can see basically you don't see anything on my on my phone but I am able to control like the pause and the fast forward and rewind and like I said earlier like this is not a screen mirror because I'm only able to see it on one side so that's pretty much it if you guys have questions or anything just comment below all right thanks bye